Hi, I'm Victoria and welcome to my YouTube channel, Fully Equipped with Two Videos. Today I'd like to talk to you about our online resources that we were to do for our homework assignment. Before we were, before we were encouraged to look at these sites, we were also encouraged to have a few rules and a few guidelines into how do we pick a reliable source and how do we know it's the right one for our classroom. Some of these guidelines include how much it's going to cost, what it's going to cost us, how reliable is the source, and how easy is it to use. Another guideline I personally like to use is how easy is it to access the site. When you click on it, is there 1,400 different things to look at? Is the font hard to read? Is the coloring weird? It's a general rule that if I get a headache looking at your website, no matter how great the sources are, I probably won't use you again. So with these guidelines in mind, let's take a look at some of these sites. Project Share Texas was a really fun site. I enjoyed it and I thought it was really great, especially if you're in Texas. Um, I didn't know how those state lines regulated between uh, academic wise, but I really enjoyed looking at it and having different ways to explain different categories and different videos and everything and I, I thought that was really cool. I would love one for my state. Um, Education Week is Another great resource of so much information from job postings to lesson plans to how to deal with bullying in the classroom um, to anything, anything and everything. And I found it also very busy. It was hard to kind of find exactly what I wanted to look for. Um, there was almost too much information that I wanted to click on everything, but yet I didn't know where it was going to take me. That site definitely gave me a headache after the first three minutes of being on there but it's full of knowledge it was a great resource PBS teachers blog was also very educational like PBS normally is and counted for it knew my location so it showed me history and different lessons especially different history lessons built on people from my area people from my state what's going on my state legislator legislator which is uh, very helpful, especially if you are, if that's your field of education, teaching, and economics. It was also full of different videos and games. I also liked how it broke it up, up of different segments, everything from pre-K to 12th grade, of different varieties of subjects with different varieties of games, videos, experiments, a kids show about it. It was it was a great resource. It was really great. Um. In relation to how these work in my classroom, my personal classroom is more focused on functional skills versus academic. We do have an academic part of our day, but it's it's structured very differently and um, it looks different from a typical classroom, but it's not academics. It is a part and I would like to use a lot of these resources and find ways to make it work in my classroom, whether the videos, doing some experiments, finding worksheets. Um, I'm still loving all of the stuff I'm finding and trying to find ways to incorporate more of that into my classroom throughout the day. A few of the programs that I use for my classroom include Classroom Messenger and Class Dojo. Um, classroom Messenger is the way I communicate with the parents. Um, you can send pictures. It's more secure than email, so it helps with HIPAA regulations and things like that. Um, I enjoy it. Uh, also with Class Dojo, I don't know if any of y'all have heard of that, but it does the same thing. You can communicate with parents and pictures, things like that, but what we mainly use it for, it, there's a point system involved with it. And this works great with our kids. It could work great with elementary kids, and depending on how much you pump, pump it up with the older kids, but there's a bunch of categories in which you can earn points. And it has some set categories at the end, but then you can custom your own of listening well, responding quickly, like the whole, you can give class, the whole class points, or you can give individual students points of, you know, doing your homework nicely, having a good attitude, helping others, different part of those good characteristics that are in students that might not be part of the lesson plan, but you still want to reward those good behaviors. And, um, and then based on how many dojo points you have, base is based on your reward. So some of the older kids, you know, we like to use, if you get 500 points, you can have a pizza party, or if you get 600 points, everyone can wear pajamas for the day, and, you know, different things that the classroom can work together to build for a big prize. Or, throughout the day, you know, through math segment of the day, you know, if you earn 30 points, you can play with a more preferred toy versus, 
you know, something not as preferred. So those are some of the apps that I use for school. Also for planning purposes, I use planbook.com that my principal can see, a few of the other teachers can see as well, and then I can email or print it out for my staff assistants so they know what's expected for the day. Um, I enjoy that. I'm still kind of new to it, but I like it. Also, um, I love Kahoot. Dot IT. When, when I'm doing a staff meeting, one of the teachers came in and was like, everybody get out your phones. And a very dynamic personality had us all go to this website. And it was, I mean, first of all, who tells you to get out your phone in a staff meeting? <laughs> and then to take all the information we were learning and relearning and put it into a format of a quiz. And it became really fun. You don't have to put in your um, real name. At least we didn't have to put our, in our real name. So it'd be kind of, kind of fun when you see those top five um to know, well, who is that? And, you know, the, the quiet person in the back sneaking in all those answers. And um, it's really fun. Um, for those of you who don't know, Kahoot, Kahoot's is a fun where you can make a quiz, interactive quiz. Um, Shauna made a video about it, and it, it was a great video. And I just, I loved it. I've never used it in my classroom, but as a participant of Kahoot's, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And you learn a lot, and you have to be quick on your feet. The only downside could be that not everyone has access to a phone or the internet or data plan that it might require to be on there, but for the most part, it's a great re resource and it's a really fun way to make learning fun. Also with those uh, different apps, I found the, like the clicker app and other the grading apps and different things like that where I got their point. But I feel like I'm on my phone so much that I'm not really focused on my students. And so personally, I would have to pick and choose which ones I wanted to use because I don't want to spend my whole time on my phone when I could be focused on my students. And, you know, once you get the hang of it, it becomes a little easier. But that's what's kind of hesitant towards me is I want to, I guess I'm old fashioned. I just want to put down my phone. Um, but I can see how they're very helpful in taking quick surveys and, you know, making sure your students understand what's being taught. Um, I also really thought photo math was really cool and I wish I had had that because sometimes I just need that step-by-step -step process of how, especially when it comes to math, how math problem, problem is done. I can't see how that can be taken the opposite way and just being used just to copy homework instead of actually figuring out your homework. In conclusion, how I'd like to finish this video off is just by saying thank you to all my classmates who have participated in adding their own resources and sharing the, the sites that they like and they enjoy. I have grown a lot just by listening and, and uh, seeing what you guys like and I hope that if this video can be helpful in any way, besides the class itself, I have found that I've learned a lot from my students already and so I wish to thank you for that and I hope you all have a wonderful day and take care. Bye.